Okay, let's do this. Sure, let's go. Nga! Quit screwing around and start! I want some sense, so we put it to the line. Two, not even the same food, now put it to the line. Two, the mocha, yet to tell, so the cat and it is your ass. Mark, get set. Wow, Kona-chan, that was so amazing. You're so good at sports, and I always wondered, how come you don't join a team or anything? Because if I got on a team and started playing sports, I'd miss all of my primetime anime shows. <laughs> Hey, Tsukasa, which end of a chocolate cornet do you eat first? Huh? Um, I think I started the head. Really? So which side of this thing's the head anyway, the fat part or the skinny? I always thought that this end of it, the thin one, was the head. Oh, see, I always thought the fatter end was the head. So why do you think the thinner end's the head? Doesn't it look like a seashell? Hmm. Why do you think it's the fatter end? I always thought it looked more like a caterpillar. Uh, a caterpillar? Yeah, but when you think about it, I guess a seashell's a much better image. Um, you know... There's another way to eat it. Tear off the thin end and dip it in the chocolate cream on the fat end. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea! Ah, it figures you'd know that. You're so smart, Miyuki-san. Well, not really. Everyone has their own way of eating one. How about cream puffs? How do you eat them? Huh? How do I eat a cream puff? That's easy. I split it in half horizontally, then I take the top half and dip it into the cream in the bottom part. Then, after most of the cream is gone, I start eating the bottom. I find that if I eat it that way, it keeps the cream from spurting out, and I can have equal amounts of cream and pastry in each bite. Huh. What do you do about the ones that have both custard and cream? Do you have a system to eat those? Do you mix the flavors together? No, I don't have a system for those per se. Wait, how exactly does one mix the flavors? Uh, just asking. When do you eat the strawberry on a strawberry shortcake or a chestnut on top of a Mont Blanc? Let's see now. It depends on the amount of strawberries that are sandwiched between the layers of sponge cake. With the strawberries, the whipped cream, and the sponge cake, I paste it so that I can get a bit in each and every bite. So getting to the strawberry on top of the cake is always different for me. Hmm, that's hmm. a solid move. When I eat it, I always save the strawberry on top for last. Sometimes I get so full that I can't eat it. And other times someone in my family comes along and takes it away. And that's why you should always eat your favorite part first. Come to think, I've never seen anyone take Kagami's strawberry away from her. That's Kagami for you. She's sharp. Here's one. Can you eat the very last bite of an ice pop without dropping it? Mm -hmm. Wait, you drop it? If you don't eat it the right way... <sighs> 
It falls off, doesn't it? Yes. How do you do it, Kona-chan? I suck it out the stick. Oh. Or maybe you could just turn it around while you eat it like this. Oh, that's a good idea. And then there's soft serve ice cream, which I'm not very fond of. <gasps> What's wrong with it? I hate how you're always left with an empty cone at the end of it. You're right. There's never any ice cream left, just the cone. I always try to push the ice cream further and further down into the cone as I eat it. But how in the world do you do that? While I eat, I do a push and shove thing. A push and shove thing? You try to balance everything out, don't you? I suppose. Oh, here's another one. How do you eat curried rice? Do you mix the curry with the rice? No, but I do try to have equal amounts of curry and rice left over for my last bite. I like mixing it up. How do you eat it? It all depends on the curry. If I pour some sauce on it or drop a raw egg on top, then I mix it up. You put sauce on curry? Oh, yeah, it's tasty. Do you put sauce on fried eggs, too? Nope, I put soy sauce on fried eggs. Oh, huh? see, when I use that, I use mayonnaise. Mayonnaise on fried eggs, but not on hard-boiled eggs? Mm-hmm. You know, mayonnaise is good with pretty much every egg dish. You put it on curry, too? Mm-hmm. I put mayo on white rice and on beef bowls. It goes good with that sweet broth. Oh, and on parent chow bowls, too. You know how the chicken's the parent and the egg's the child? And how mayonnaise is made from eggs, too? I just put a little blob of it on top, and I call that the relative bowl. Hmm. And I used to really hate nacho beans, but if I put some mayonnaise on them, I can eat them. Ugh, I can't imagine that. Oh, but the tastiest thing has to be when you put mayonnaise right on top of some soft-boiled eggs. Even the fried eggs are half-cooked at my house. Really? Yep, that's just how my dad likes his eggs. I guess it's because he always liked to suck on the yolk. So if you fry the egg too much, then the yolk gets too hard and my dad can't suck the yolk out. So, how do you eat chicken skewers? What do you mean, how? Do you eat it right off the skewer, or do you pull it off with chopsticks? Let me see. When I'm alone, I'll eat it off the skewer. But when I'm eating in public or with company, I'll use chopsticks to pull it off. Yeah, and don't you feel weird when there's only one piece left on the plate? Yes, the last bite certainly makes things awkward at the table. And then it gets later and later and no one eats it. It gets all dry and stale and it's not looking so tasty and no one really wants to eat it, but they don't want to say anything. And then the waiter comes over to take the plate and you're like, whoa, we're still eating that! In the end, we all go home without eating that last bite. Oh, that's such a waste. I feel sorry for it. Oh, with Korean barbecue, I feel sorry for the meat that's left on the grill that turns to charcoal. Well, at a Korean barbecue, you're always eating and chatting at the same time, so you get a little distracted. And when you're grilling beef tongue with green onions, that cooks really fast. Oh, you're so right. It's already done cooking by the time you flip it over, isn't it? Wait, you flip it over? Huh? You flip it over. Mm. You should never flip beef tongue with green onions. Why shouldn't I flip it? Because if you flip it over, all the green onions on top will fall into the grill. Yeah, I guess you're right. You don't need to flip it over at all. You roast it on one side and the heat cooks it all the way through. I get it. I guess I'll do that from now on. You absolutely positively never flip it. Never flip it. Ever. <sighs> oh. Which end of a choco cornet is the head, the fat end or the skinny end? <laughs> Such a bad boy. What's with all the kidnappings lately? I mean, these guys imprison girls and force them to call them master and stuff? It's sick. Oh. I think it's about guys playing way too many dating sims and erotic games. The master-slave thing is a pretty common scenario, you know. Oh yeah, like you'd know all about that. Wait, you're in the 11th grade. How do you know about erotic game scenarios? <laughs> La Lucky star. star! You're amazing. You're always at the top of the class. Huh? Don't you have any faults, Miyuki-san? It's a little embarrassing, but I guess I tend to think about things too much. So much that I end up spacing out. I sometimes cut my finger using the veggie slicer. <gasps> sometimes I'll trip on my feet and fall down. Or a corner of my tote bag will get caught in the train's door. Wow! Whoa, hold it. Miyuki-san, those aren't called faults. People call those moe points. Huh? Moe points? Clumsy is sexy. Kona-chan, what have you been thinking this whole time? How come you wear glasses? I mean, you're really pretty, but you can only appeal to a tiny section of the fan base. <laughs> appeal to? Besides the whole popularity thing, don't glasses actually make your vision worse? How come you never switch to wearing contacts? Well, it's a little embarrassing to admit now that I'm in high school, but I suppose you could say... I'm afraid of contact lenses! Actually...
Actually, I'm pretty scared to put anything into my eyes. I can't even open my eyes underwater. Damn, she's a natural airhead. A total cutie pie. Hey, isn't that Miyuki-san over there? Huh? I wonder if she broke down and decided to get some contacts. Huh. I guess she's probably better off with the glasses after all. That must have hurt. And she's that way naturally. Kagami's staying home because she's got a cold, huh? Mm-hmm. But at least she's only got a cold and not the flu, you know? Thankfully, I'm stupid, so I don't have to worry about catching flus and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that works with the cold, but I didn't know it was the same for the flu. I thought the flu was the deluxe version of the cold. You saying that colds and flus are two different things? I, I guess I think they're different things. Or maybe they aren't. I don't know anymore. I'm kind of confused now. Oh, the difference between influenza and a cold? Mm -mm. Let me see now. Influenza is a viral illness with many symptoms such as fever and muscle aches. If it's not treated, there's a risk of more serious complications. On the other hand, the symptoms of a cold are sore throat and a runny nose, and the fever doesn't run as high. Those are just a few of the symptoms that differ from the flus. Huh. So to answer your question, yes, they are different illnesses. Oh, really? Oh, but then again, colds and flus do share many common traits. I guess one could say a flu is sort of a scaled-up version of a cold after all. I knew it! Hmm. Why are you oh. looking so serious, huh, Kona-chan? Oh, it's nothing. Just something that's been bugging me since our conversation this morning. Huh? The one about colds and flus? You didn't disagree with me when I said I was stupid, did you, Tsukai? Wait! It's not like that! Hello, Kanata-chan. Come in. She came by to visit Sis. Oh, thanks for coming to see her. No worries, I'll just go up. Thanks. 